your own place. Hi guys, uh, welcome back to my car. We have another day of running errands and I will catch you up on everything that has happened. How are you? Yesterday, they totally messed up the power in my house and I half the house didn't have power and my stove didn't have power and um, this morning I didn't have power, so let's just be honest. This is, this is my bed this morning. Here's Coco cashed out. We've been watching some YouTube videos. I, I admit I ate chocolate for breakfast and had a cup of tea because we've hit that level of dysfunction. It's, it's been real. It's just beyond, it's been real. And I had no way to cook, and you know, like I'm allergic to so many different foods that, yeah, that was breakfast this morning. Okay, so um, let me take you through some of the exciting things that have been happening. Okay, so uh, they redid the light fixture in the guest bathroom. Um, so that's what that looks like. But you know you fix one thing and then you realize everything else is wrong? There's this huge space between the light fixture and the mirror. So the mirror probably doesn't work in here anymore. And then I've never realized this, but look, the mirror hangs over the edge by like three inches. So, um... Yeah, that's me. Hi guys. Um, I'm trying to figure out what to do about that. I don't, I don't know yet. Um, and then I wondered if the three fixture is too small. Ooh, there it goes. Um, so I bought a four light fixture to try and here is an update of the chaos in the master bedroom. Um, went ahead and put in a new ceiling fan light fixture yesterday here. Let's take a look at the old light fixture. It's got some vintage little scrolls on it, like we're from the Baroque era, but um, yeah, it, it was having some tough times. It's Huge update. I think the sunflowers are just starting to emerge out of the ground, which is exciting. They're a little bit ahead of schedule because it was supposed to be 14 to 21 days, so I'm not sure I planted them deep enough. So, ah, I hope they're okay. Um, and let's see here. Uh, been planting a lot more flowers uh, out front and also um, out back as well. And then I decided to clean out the garage and the garage needed a good whitewashing. So I got about halfway through um, painting the garage yesterday. I think it needs a second coat. That's why I think it's only at the halfway point. Apart, which is part of the renovation after the Easter flooding. Um, it sounds very Moses-esque when I say that. 
Okay, so the Easter flooding was probably the best thing better because, um, and this is me totally looking on the positive side that all things happen for a reason. Um, the floor underneath, it turns out that a large portion of it in the bathroom was rotten and it had the capability that uh, I would have just like fallen through anyway at some point or it would have had to be done. So, um, I don't know when it happened on Easter I was a hot mess about it but you know now that I'm further into the renovation it's probably the best thing ever that the bathroom flooded uh, the bathroom is completely gutted at this point um, they actually even got to the point of doing sheetrock the demolition as all renovations are are wow it's always just a hot mess and guys that do demo are just total boys like <laughs> just Destroying my house in the process. Um, there are holes in my master bedroom, which was not supposed to be part of the renovation in that part. Um, my laundry room also has holes in it, so both of those rooms uh, got patched and need to uh, be repainted now. And then they uh, came back over and they put the new bathtub in and then they put a new floor in. Oh, reverse that and uh, then they uh, went ahead and put the sheetrock in. So today I have to go pick up paint because I said I would save some cash and paint the bathroom myself because it's not hard. Um, and I have to paint the bedroom and the laundry room anyway. So it, I think that this weekend is going to just be a lot of paint huffing. A lot of paint huffing. Her name was Lola. She was a showgirl. I'm so fancy. Um, the bathroom originally was going to have um, vinyl countertops, and then I just wanted to check to see what the cost difference would be of. Uh, granite countertops and I went out to the granite yard which was really cool because I have this big arm that like latches down over the granite um, to move it because the slabs are so heavy um, but the price cost comparison is substantial um, when I was looking at it and it was going to be such a significant cost difference because I'm not in my forever home uh, I called a friend of mine who is a realtor and she said that to put granite in as far as appraisal and how my appraisal on my house would shift, I would only see a quarter of that revenue back. Which, when you consider, that's not a great financial investment. I went ahead and picked out the tile for the bathroom last time, but it turns out the tile that I chose has been discontinued, so I had to go back and choose tile again. Um, and luckily for me, I'd already picked out my paint color. So what I did is I took my paint color down and I matched the undertones um, to the same undertones that I'd chosen in the previous tile. Um, so that all turned out to be okay. I will try to link a picture of the cabinets that I picked out because I keep forgetting to put that in. So I think the contrast of the gray and the Honey Almond will be a nice mix of warm and cool tones for the bath.